getting back on uh, I-90 East. Destination today. Actually, we, we could talk about that. This is going to be another one of the... I hate these. For some reason, Idaho has these on-ramps where you can't even get up to speed and then it just spits you out onto the highway with no warning. Well, this one gives you a little bit more of a warning, but I'm just full throttle. Move over, move over. I can't. Yeah, see, I got on the freeway going about 40 miles an hour. Nothing I can do about it, though. Weird little spot. Wait, did I say Idaho? I'm in Montana. Well, Idaho was like this, too. Either way. Morning, world. I'm here at a really fancy rest stop, I guess. I mean, they're calling it a rest stop. It includes uh, free picnicking, so this was my first stop along I-90. There hasn't been a whole lot of stuff. I mean, I don't want to say it wasn't fun. It's just, it's way different than driving through metropolitan cities because you can go 30 miles and not even see services or an exit off of the highway. You can literally drive 30 miles and not even find a gas station or a way off of the freeway. So, you know, sometimes, some days, it's just, uh, there's not a whole lot of road to share. How much is that kitty in the window? Hey, Jax. Isn't this a nice campground, though? I'm not sure how much it costs overnight. There's no services. It's just dry camping. I'm not even really sure who owns it. I, I would guess the state of Montana. Hang on, I'll check this board up here. And they do have a dump station up here off to the left with drinking water also, but I didn't pay anything, so I don't think I get to use that. So, yeah, dump fee is $2 extra to pay at the entrance. So, free day camping, day use. You know what? This is a national forest land. Maybe I missed it when it said. Oh, there you go. It's $10 a night. $10 a night, U.S. forest. Okay, so it's a national forest uh, paid area. Tunnel ahead. Oh, westbound, eastbound. I want to go through the tunnel. I better not. I'm gonna go east. <laughs> well, there's your hint. We're getting out of the middle of nowhere. AT&T and full bars of 4G LTE. Wow, out in the middle of nowhere. Cool. Today's fire danger. Pretty darn low. Moderate. What a weird July. I don't... This has been one of the most oddest things. Like, everywhere I've been since I left Washington State has been like 20 degrees under their normal temperature. I don't know how I'm missing all this. Like this area right here is usually 90 plus in July and August. So this is amazing. This place claims to be four and a half miles off of I-90. So a little bit farther than I usually venture off the main roads. But I'm going to be guaranteed to get some nice peaceful sleep out here. Wouldn't be surprised if I don't see anybody out this way. Kind of nice to get away from busy, noisy interstates as I slowly watch my cell service disappear. <laughs> Still supposed to drive another mile, but a little sign here, attention fish creek anglers. Well, look at the river. The creek, fish creek. Keep driving here. Let's see if see if there's something better down here. Jax, you checking things out? Okay. Oh, there's somebody out here. I'm turning right here. So.
You think that was for you, huh? Oh, okay. Want some shade? There's shade right here. You have your pick. You want the sun or the shade, whatever you want. Or half and half. Yeah. I'm just spoiled rotten lately enjoying all these nature. This is a great spot in Montana here at the Fish Creek. The sun's just kind of creeping out every once in a while, but mostly it's just overcast. Neat little trail here. I'll actually bring Jax out later and we'll walk this trail. He absolutely loves to get his exercise. I can even get him to, to run sometimes. This sign here says a forest giant measuring over six feet in diameter and nearly 200 feet tall. This big pine is the largest known ponderosa pine in Montana. This giant contains enough lumber to build two average size houses. Over 350 years old, this amazing tree is still growing. Would make a heck of a tree for it, for sure. So you can see where I'm at with the RV over there. Got my own little pathway right here to the beach. Walk on through and I mean, isn't that amazing? Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks guys.